welcome back to this week's vlog and here we're leaving Leeds and it was a very nice day in Leeds it was well, yeah we ran you off there it was lovely so which uh, you saw in last week's vlog if you watched it and so we, yeah we went we had to wait till one o'clock before we could leave because the the lock there is manned one the, till the three lock. Because so, uh, it's, it's leaking water that bad, isn't it? Yeah. So they only open it two hours a day, and that's it. So and that's the one they're going to shut for two months. Yeah, 29th of May, yeah. I think, isn't it? Yeah, yeah for two closes. months. Yeah. In the main season. Um, so then we were on to the big electric locks, which are very easy because you just press a button and they do all the work for you. And yes, they're huge, but they're not. I'd rather do those than I would do the little locks because at least when they come in, the water comes in, it doesn't shoot you everywhere does it comes it? in nice and steady underneath, yeah. underneath your boat doesn't it it does but uh, and so then we headed to Woodlesford um, where we stayed there for well we stayed for two days and then we <laughs> went up to Castleford it wasn't right for us so we turned around and came back to Woodlesford so we're not boring you with that bit of a trip um, because then my parents came up on the bank holiday and your brothers yeah, yeah. So, um, and you'll just see a bit of that as well because my dad cooked us an amazing uh, Thai. So we had sushi, sushi, lots and lots of it. Oh, well, it good, it? It, very nice. And we had some leftover for the next day yeah, as well. Spoiled. Um, and then we left Woodlesford in the sunshine, which was fantastic. Makes a change. And we went to Horbury. So you know, yeah. it's, it's like the it's a big river, isn't it? Then it's like the river trend, isn't it? Yeah, it was like but it's like a mill pond, smooth as anything. Yeah, it wasn't, uh, it was lovely. It was a nice cruise. And we moored up in Aubrey for just for the night, didn't we? We just stayed there yeah. for the night. So uh, we hope you enjoy this week's vlog. And uh, don't forget to put the comments because we do enjoy reading them, the few that we uh, get. And Subscribe as well, it's, it's all free. It is. No and problem. The numbers are going up slowly, so uh, thank you to those ones that uh, have been subscribing. That's very kind of you. And um, we'll see you again next week. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye. The sun rises slowly in the distance. Ear to the shell, but no ocean heals your calm. Echoes in your heart with a song of resistance. Struggle for the light as another brick will fall. Won't you rock, rock by my baby? So here you'll just see us coming up to the uh, main lock that takes you out of Leeds. And this is the one we have to wait till uh, one o'clock so that it's been it's manned because it's been locked until then because of the leaks and everything. So uh, the lock keeper had just arrived and he was just getting everything ready for us. So uh, I jumped off to help him and uh, he uh, did one side, I did the other, and then he allowed me to jump back on and close. He closed all the gates, so I went to, to jump back on once Steve had gone through.
So when you're coming down here, you have to watch out because there's often a water taxi which comes from wharf to wharf, which I'm sure we uh, did use when we were there. But, uh, so just to keep your wits about you to watch where they're coming. And as you can see, there's one just coming up there. So we're just coming up to the next lock that uh, takes us out of Leeds and uh, there was a, another boat that just come through so he was very kind and just uh, left that open for us so we can just go straight in. So here on the right hand side is the armories that you will have seen in last week's vlog. So that's it, we're out onto the river and you won't believe all around you you're in just on the outskirts of uh, Leeds city centre really are you? It was, it was beautiful and we managed to pick a perfect day as well because it was literally again like a mill pond. So we keep timing these days right, thank goodness. So just a very peaceful cruise as you can see, very very still and even though it was a river it uh, you felt completely safe which we don't mind doing these days. Um, but uh, as you'll see from this next clip we had to record it. We were just going through the final lock going up to Woodlesford and this chap was on his boat and he just loved his music. Doing another the lock, being accompanied by the music from down there. So after a couple of days, my dad and my family arrived, and here he is starting to plate up our sushi. He bought everything, even some other plates. This was the this was the first dish, and it was a super duper crab dish. What's this very crab? Yeah. yeah. So this is our crab. Dog about a month ago, I suppose. Probably a bit longer. Do they look necessary? Yeah, salt air blonde from Ooh. salt air Yeah, we, we pulled up outside on, on the boat okay. and feed it to cross the bit. <laughs> After okay, getting right. nasty with a, a car. I haven't told you about this one. I've no. heard of the bridge. Yeah, that little barry. <laughs> Is that the alcohol, low alcohol? Yeah. Thank you. Portland, Maine, USA. Um, not, the same, not the same Portland style. Is it? No, it's Maine. Well done, you. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Is that all right, sir? So we all, the six of us, and we all managed to get around the back and uh, eat our Northern lovely Lions, food. And we also had a black yeah. Labrador and Mexi, of course. Okay. So it was a bit tight, but uh, we managed it uh, as you do. Yeah, well, no alcohol. Yeah. Yeah, no, we, we're not, I don't think we've got the full amount, but we've got uh, quite a lot. No, I haven't got, I haven't mm. got the full amount either. So after a fabulous meal, we then decided to go for a walk 
and then had to say our goodbyes. That's disgusting, isn't it, those bins? Well, CRT have lied because they said they were going to get them emptied before the weekend. So I've just taken a photograph, so I'm going to tweet it again. Absolutely disgraceful. This is not being fixed. Well, off. That's it. 40 minutes to fill up the water. Well, you can see the front end gone down there. Yeah, you can. <laughs> I bet. I was probably. I was just thinking. Yeah. Should I put the camera up? I might have tipped it up a bit. It'll be interesting to see what it does. <laughs> hey, Han, you'll be alright. Yeah, we must have had quite a bit. We did wash up about we'll go, we'll go. duck food. The further minute it all comes outside at boat as oh, a kid. Oh, Oh, right. Um, come on, come on. It's, um, Yeah, it's enough, isn't it? It's yeah, all. Yeah, it's enough. Come with me to do the lock. That's what I still didn't find. Let's have a look in that. In, in the. Like, room more up. Um, the, that other one that. but not on the other side but there's plenty after the bits yeah only well. a couple hundred meters right on that yeah, side we've got to go anyway. oh. yeah. <laughs>
Nie musi się. So it's really pretty countryside and it's surprising what you uh, don't see when you're obviously in cars and things like that in the area I know quite well from working well, in the main towns and everything but uh, once you look on the waterways it looks completely different and uh, it's nice just to be able to see other people and wave into the little ones which as we go past and they're always on the lookout for Mexi and she loves seeing them as well. So this is the final lock of the day and another electric one which was even better and as you'll see once we get through this we got a bit confused when we got to Stanley Bridge we were not sure which way to go as you will see. This cruiser on the right hand side was absolutely ginormous. So we're just coming up to Stanley Bridge now. We were looking to see where was the best place to moor because we weren't sure about this place. And uh, it got really confusing. And I said to Steve, we have to slow down and have a look to see which way. Because if you look straight in front, Obviously there's a channel and to the left there's a channel. No signposts anywhere and there's a boat moored right on the right hand side and it's going to be very tight. But we're I'm in an hour in which way to go. We stopped and Steve got the book out, couldn't see which way was the best way to go. Anyway, I shouted across to the guys on the left and they said, no, you can go which way you want. And it's like an island in the middle that doesn't tell you which way to go. So we, we opted for the one where there was no other boats and we uh, smoothly went round.
So it was all full on the visitors moorings here. I think they seem to be there for quite a while by the looks of the boats, to be honest with you. Um, and we just went through the swing bridge and a nice gentleman that was moored very close to the bridge opened it for us and we just kept going till the end and managed to find a mooring for the evening. And just as we moored up, the heavens opened. So uh, we were timed it well. So that's it this, for this week. Thanks ever so much for watching and we'll see you all again soon. Good one then. Are you pleased to be home?